What's up, everybody? Old Neil, the Briar Goat Killer. Um, coming at you live from the North Carolina Deer Camp, and uh, managed to get me another Briar Goat. Uh, that's number four on the season. 100 pound doe. Uh, last night with the rifle, it's rifle season. I shot her with the uh, 44 Magnum, Marlin 44 Magnum lever action. Um, had not rifle hunted in quite a few years and uh, came out here this weekend. It's the last weekend of deer season and uh, I'm enjoying myself very much. It's, it's a lot of fun. I forgot how much fun it is to hunt with a rifle. Um, I've been hung up on the bow hunting for quite a few years now. But anyway, uh, I got tagged a couple of weeks ago by Peter Freeble from the uh, Vereville Bushcraft School and uh, for axe cooking. So uh, I just got in from hunting. I'm hungry. It's about 11.30, uh, 11.30 a.m., uh, December the 9th, 2011. Anyway, I'm going to uh, show you all how I do my breakfast when I got a fresh deer and uh, using my axe. First thing I'm going to do is peel this tenderloin out of this old dough, and we're going to have some tenderloin on the campfire. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Go. Nice fresh tenderloin. You'll have that and some eggs and some biscuits. Ought to be pretty good, huh? Probably a six, eight ounce cut <coughs> with the task force. I had this axe about probably 10 or 12 years. Um, been a great little axe. See, your average uh, for you guys that aren't from around here, your average uh, hardware store axe, um, hickory handle, uh, decent little head on it, I've knocked some dings in it, I've used this thing from everything from uh, wood shake shingles to, uh, <laughs> to camping to game processing, uh, it's a good little axe, doesn't weigh much and uh, keeps a razor sharp edge, cool, stay with me, we'll process some wood here, get started.
He's a little green, but that'll make my meat taste good. Coffee. Here in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Good tallow if you're into that kind of thing. Cool, hang on. I'm going to get some charcoal started from a Dutch oven so I don't have to take all day to burn it down the coals. And so there's what's on the menu. A couple of eggs, a can of jumbo biscuits, and a fresh tenderloin. All prepared with the axe because the axe is back, baby. Cool. tell you. Good old percolator perking away is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Simple but beautiful. <laughs> cool.
That's done. <clears throat> Eggs. Put a little hole in the top of them, give them a little stir. Cook them in no time flat. Beautiful, fresh tenderloin. Cool, this is going to be delish. Here's to your health. Wow. Never get better tasting coffee than you get out of a percolator over a campfire. <laughs> I got all my little ultralight coffee stuff going on, but <laughs> it never tastes better than this, boys. Mmm. Delish. Cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Let it go just a minute too long. But, nice golden brown delicious biscuits from the campfire, baby. Can't beat that. Cool. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> Breakfast is done, dude. Uh,
nothing like a good piece of fat dough on a biscuit. Boy. <laughs> wow. Man, guys, that is so good. Egg. Fresh killed tenderloin. Wow. Percolator coffee. No seasoning. Only seasoning on this is smoke. Mm. Wow. That shouldn't even be allowed. Anyway. Hope you've enjoyed my bushcraft breakfast, my axe cooking video. Um, special thanks to uh, Peter Friebel from the Vareville Bushcraft School in Sweden for tagging me for this. I really enjoyed it. Um, whew, man. Hard to concentrate on anything else. But anyway, as part of this challenge, um, I get to tag three people. And uh, those three people are going to be Hugh, uh, the Spectral Munchkin. If you guys uh, haven't checked into uh, Spectral Munchkin's uh, channel. Um, he's awesome. <laughs> he's a cool old guy. Lives up in Canada. Camps and hunts and and uh, you know does all the things that I love to do. Um, and uh, just a really great guy. And then uh, likes the woods. Um, guys are out in Montana. Hunters, fishermen, bushcrafters. Awesome outdoorsmen. Um, and then Gamo Guy 1. And uh, all you guys that subscribe to all the hunting channels certainly know who Gamo Guy One is. He he he's got a great channel, great videos. He's a hunter, um, and uh, I'll put links to these in the description. And uh, so Spectral Munchkin likes the woods, and Gamo Guy One. You know you don't have to be out in the bush. Um, I mean you can cook weenies in your backyard uh, over a you know over a fire, or over a stove if you want to in your kitchen. Uh, the one rule is you have to use your axe for your only cutting tool. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, really this, uh, this weekend of hunting for me is just getting started. It's Friday morning. Um, I got the rest of the weekend to hunt. I was lucky. I got here on Thursday evening, killed a big doe with the rifle. Um, hadn't been here two hours. I walked down through the woods and we got a field down there just growed up, an old fallow field. And I sat up on the side of the mountain overlooking the field. She walked out, popped her, um. It was textbook, but uh, anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for watching all my videos, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later.